All right, guys, I'm back. And this is from Monthly Knife Club. And I'm not sure what it is because I got two packages from them today. One of them is a box, which I'm very much expecting is my tier two name brand. But I'm not sure what this is. So I'm very excited to open it up and show you all what we got. And so this is going to be one of the last two packages opening for, did I just cut that in? Yes, I did. Did I cut off words? Not really, just that. One of the last two unboxings for 2023, which is exciting. Um, it's Kaiser. Oh, is this the, this might be the tier two name brand. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. This is the standard name brand. Interesting. Interesting, because usually the standard the the standard name brand is is a is a tier below the tier two name brand, um, and for a Kaiser to come in the standard is pretty good. Now Kaiser has different product lines. Um, they have something called the Vanguard line, which is sort of like their lower end, but it's still Kaiser, so it's still really good. Um, and yeah, so you can see by the model number here, it starts with a V. That's a Vanguard line. Um, and really the difference is just materials and everything. But let's see what this is. So it's the Swags Swayback Folding Knife. Cool. And it's got Bowler N690 stainless steel, which is a very good steel. Um, nothing wrong with that. G10 in either purple or green. I'll be honest, I won't mind a purple one. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, let me go ahead and show you the specs right here. So you guys can take a look and you'll see here uh, the cost of the subscription. And now mind you, I don't I don't nor I don't normally get the standard name brand. Uh, the the Onyx and the tier two are my standard subscriptions. Um, so he would have Daryl would have sent this to me for us to see. So this is coming to me from them. Um, so this is the price of the subscription, and uh, this is what you're going to find it for throughout the internet on searching. So I'm kind of excited to take a look at this. Come on. Let's see. And, you know, one of the other ways you can tell the difference between the higher and lower end Kaisers is packaging also. This kind of package is very Vanguard line. Oh, I got purple. That's cool. So in this little this little insert here, this is the same as as your higher or lower end ones. You got the cloth. You've got this little, you know, same same insert packaging insert that you would get. They still give you some extra screws, and then we have the knife. Very smooth, very machine G10. Here you can see we've got a button lock and a flipper. Um, looks like, oh no, the clip is reversible left or right. It is not deep carry, but okay. Very minimal hardware on there. You can see skeletonization inside those stainless steel liners. Some really nice jimping along the spine. Very nice action very EDC sized um, so I kind of lose it in the the pinky area because it's a little small but just get a nice clean clean look at that stone wash very nice interesting I don't know it kind of the handle kind of seems upside down to me because I'll tell you what, holding it like that is pretty comfortable as that rounded part just goes into the meat of your palm. But that's the way they wanted it to be. It feels a little a little awkward, I guess. Um, a little backwards to me. It, it really does. But I could see how they were going for the the symmetry of the uh, the rounded blade and then the rounded handle there. It is pretty lightweight. 
what do they, what do they give this? Where is the weight there? Um, 2.72 ounces, yeah. Gotta get used to that a little bit. Such a small blade, you gotta kind of find that sweet spot for one hand. But you can see it's very one hand capable. Sway back. Swag. So, oh, Swags is a designer. I did not realize that. I don't know that name. I'm not familiar. It is just a very, a very interesting and a little bit odd handle shape. However, so if you get it all the way in your palm, it's a little weird, but if you sort of have it on your fingers um, and you have your thumb right there, it actually does feel pretty good. Um, that's not probably the way I would always cut with it, but it works. Excellently finished blade, but it's a Kaiser. So what would we, uh, you know, what would we expect there? For those who, who really like the smaller EDC size, I think this works really well. Here's how much lockup you get with your button lock. And it's about 50%. One of the things I've looked at button locks recently, and one of the things I, I didn't mention with frame locks and liner locks, you end up, um, over time, the lock will move more and more into the blade. Um, with a button lock, that just doesn't happen because there's only so much button lock there. Um, so you don't end up having later and later lock up with a button lock um, at, as, as would happen with a liner lock or a frame lock. Um, so the wear and tear is a little bit different when you're using a button lock. But yeah, that, that is one handable very easily and very nicely. I, zero effort. In fact, I was about to say, oh, wow, I screwed that up. I better try it again. I had no idea that that actually even cut. Very nice. And pull through with a little bit of effort, a little bit. We're not gonna be able to get a good pew, I don't think, because just because there's, we're not gonna be able to get a lot of, yeah, we're not gonna, because of the the completely flat edge here, and just, we've got the flipper, you're not gonna be able to, we'll be able to slice it like that, but that's not a true pew, the way we, we do pew testing. Um, but it does slice really well. It's a very good slicing blade. Um, very interesting. Um, now, as I'm thinking, you know, I, I have all these videos lined up. Tr I'm trying to get all of the December videos done and up by the end of December. You're probably not going to see this until just into the beginning of January. Um, I don't think that this will make my, my top 20 folding knife, you know, unbox knives of 2023, which is a video I'm compiling now, but it is a really, you know, nice little EDC knife. Uh, not quite gentleman folder because it's just a little bulky, you know, and um, I do really like the, the finish on the G10 though. I do like the weight. I like the action on it. I mean, it's a Kaiser. You really, you can't complain. Even though it's the kind of the lower end, it does sit perfectly flat on the back. Um, it's, you know, it's still got all of the Kaiser quality and production standards. So very interesting. What do you guys think? I'm going to look up what the green G10 looks like. It's probably just like a forest green G10. I like the purple though. I'm glad I got the purple. So interesting because uh, I'll be honest, usually the standard um, from what I've seen is not, um, I don't know, I think Kaiser's really good, really good to get in the standard name brand. So I don't know who out there, we got a lot of subscribers to the standard name brand, but this is a pretty good month for it. And I like it a lot. And I probably will carry this around. Um, even though it's not deep carry clip. You guys, like, you know, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that's really my thing. I really like a deep carry clip to keep it firmly in the pocket. Um, but we only have, what, about half an inch coming out? Anyway. Yeah, I'd love to get to know your thoughts on this. And there will be a link to Monthly Knife Club. So you can check out all the things that they have to offer in the video description. Um, this is really cool. For this one to come just for us to check out and if there's some folks that are really interested we can easily make this a giveaway in this new year
if there's, you know, enough interest in it that we'll have, you know, if there's going to be two or three people entering, you know, whatever. But if we're going to have like, you know, a nice good amount of people that would enter for this in a giveaway, that's different. So anyway, uh, please let me know what you guys think of this. If anybody has it already and wants to share, please do. Remember, you guys are all absolutely awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.